All right, guys, here's another one. Um, we are April 30th. Uh, this is a brand new 2025 Peterbilt 589. Um, I've got three of them for sale. I just did a video on the baby blue and white Seminole. Uh, this is the other one. It's, uh, I think this is ceramic gray or Nardo gray. I have to look it up. Anyway, it's a real pretty gray with a mint green frame. 302 inch wheelbase, 80 inch sleeper, like we do, no fairings, uh, dual 150 gallon tanks, 605 Cummins, 2050 torque, Michelin's all the way around, 11R24s, uh, Peterbilt ovals, Durbright finish, uh, the the high performance Dana rear ends, 336 rears, all disc brakes all the way around, uh, 48 inch air slide, Holland uh, FW35 fifth wheel, jumper studs at the rear, uh, bolted frame. Uh, except on the suspension stuff. I, I uh, hooked, them, hooked them on these. Large diff tank, 30 gallon diff tank. Again, 150 gallon uh, fuel fuel tanks. You can see that line, the, the rear edge, they're just symmetrical at the rear. We're uh, still kind of learning this, this placement from the factory on rear fuel tanks. Uh, a lot of new little little things to learn moving on, but I think that's fine. If the drop panel has a little curve to it, we'll be able to get in here just fine. If not, you could always slide these tanks back. I think there's an inch or two there. Probably make all the difference in the world. Anyway, polished boxes, four batteries, big battery disconnect. Uh, seven inch exhaust. I'm absolutely in love with these mirrors because I'm old and blind and these the big surface area. They don't rattle. They're four way adjustable. They tilt up, down, left, right. They're great. Uh, heated spots. 15 inch air cleaners. Uh, there's a great shot of that color. Uh, bumper's just a throwaway bumper. We'll put whatever you want on it. Uh, we may doll this thing up. I'm just kind of testing the waters now it's here. My, my rig up shop's a little bit behind, so if I get the opportunity to sell it the way it is or to sell it the way you want it, you can pick the visor and bumper and all the stuff. Uh, we can do seven, nine, 11, 13 riff lights, whatever you want, all that good stuff. Still love that the uh, LED turn signal is in this front fender mount. Of course, polished around the square slots in the grill match the uh, exhaust heat shield and the air cleaners. Stainless visor. Got some long legs on it being being uh, 302. Take a little more peek inside here, but there's kind of the view from the passenger side. All that storage around the top, that's really nice. And you can just see the footprint of the floor. Just, it, there's so much more room. Air ride front end. Dual leveling valves, DAFCO fuel filter. Like I said, a, five, uh, a 605 Cummins, 2050 torque, 18 speed manual transmission. Um, it's got the, the, there's two different insulation packages. This one's got the bad boy insulation package in it. The uh, smart sound insulation, Arctocrat fuel lines. Just uh, that's a cheap little uh, add on that I always do. 
a lot of people ask, you know, hey, all this truck, why do you put those cheap quarter fenders on there? Uh, hard money from the factory, they're like a hundred bucks. And when they're bringing these things up here, because of those little guys right there, I put these on here no matter what, even if we're putting fenders, because I don't want love bumps all across the back of this here. So, long time watcher, first time caller just asked me about those quarter fenders. Thought it was funny. But yeah, platinum interior. Ultra leather Atlas seats, uh, tilting telescope, leather wrap wheel, keyless entry, horsepower, everything. Gauges, XM radio, Bluetooth, all that stuff. It's got the work tray over there on the dash that pops out on the passenger side, really nice. Chrome stick two USB ports, two uh, power port there. There's multiple dual ports in the back. Curtains, I think the curtain's cool because it goes all the way around the windshield, um, which I like a little bit better than this curtain, but did them both. Windows pop out on this new, new sleeper design. That's pretty cool. Slider rear window. TV mount, up top storage, and then pocket storage. You could, uh, for, a, for a one bed, you sure get a lot in here. S-bar heater, yeah, there's more of those power ports there. Three more there. Uh, S-bar heater controls. Kind of the coffee closet is what they call that. Nice bit of storage there. Pull out tray with the flip up desk. Fridge. Drawer pulls out. Really good amount of space in the closet. But yeah. Uh, like I said, June 30th, or June 30th, April 30th, here we are. This truck's for sale today. Um, my name's Steve Carboni, 918-808-5638. Call me or text me. That's absolutely the best way to get a hold of me. Uh, messages or commenting on the video may take me a minute. I don't, there's so many forms of social media, I can't get to everybody every day. So, um. But yeah, financing, trades, all that stuff. If you want to talk about ordering one, if you have questions about options, uh, just like this one. This one has the uh, over-inflate valve that Kenworth had for years, and now we finally got it. So um, uh, that's what that little indicator light is there. Lots of little stuff. Um, just just uh, if you're coming from 389 World, you know, that stem, that's where your Jake is now, or your exhaust brake. There's your trailer, brake. A lot of little things are different. Um, take has been taking a little bit of getting used to, but it's all good. They drive really nice. You darn sure see out of them. And uh, I don't think we'll be putting any seat plates in them. Cause I mean that gap it, with the seat all the way back. There's just no way. Yeah, you'd probably have to be over six five to be uncomfortable in any way. Uh, but like I said, if I can help you, give me a shout. I'd be more than happy to do it. Uh, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.